Okay, I just wanted to make a quick video on the Milk V Duo um, camera, camera board. I could not get it working for a little while, and the reason why it was really kind of silly. So I spent hours recompiling, build root, and things, and finally got it working. So the actual reason why I wasn't working is I didn't have the right VLC installed. You need to install the Snap VLC. The normal VLC that you install with apt is not the right one, okay? That's part one. If it doesn't say snap bin VLC, you got the wrong one. You have to get it. That's the that's mandatory. Uh, or use some other RTSP streaming thing. Issue number two is I was running out of RAM. So what I did, once it logs in, milk V. What I did was I added RAM. <laughs> um, and it's not really RAM, it's just a swap file. Um, but that was, that was required. Yeah, it wasn't working without it, and I don't know why. Um, so now what I can do is, after following their instructions, which is on this web page, literally just follow these instructions um, and follow some other instructions. CD, milk, redo. What you'll need to do is you need to, yeah, one, do camera setup, and two, do disk swap setup. So like delete the partition, make a really big partition, at least as much swap as you want. And then we'll just make a swap file. So I'm not going to do a swap partition, we'll do a swap file. Um, ext4, yeah, do all that. Um, I think there's an argument to do a swap partition instead of a swap file. I think it's possibly got less CPU overhead. That could be quite outdated information anyway. Um, yeah, I've done that. I haven't really done swap files for a little while. So I'm in the wrong folder. Mount data install, and you should just be able to do 64M. But before I do that, before I reveal the camera, what I'm going to do is an I2C detect one. You see there's nothing there. So even when you plug the camera in, it's not until you actually initialize it first, and you can see it actually sets up I2C one. Um, it'll initialize it, and then it'll show you that it shows up on I2C detect. Um, if you see this 012 golden blah, 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 that is fantastic. That is success. Uh, if that doesn't show up, I'm pretty sure that means it's not working. Um, and then you can run VLC, do, 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 do. it'll be around 25% CPU usage and ta-da, it's a camera. How good is that? Freaking amazing. For 20 bucks, I've got the world's most annoying and um, <laughs> unuseful webcam. <laughs> yeah, so that's the gist of it. Um, hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully I can use this as a reference. You might find that if you reboot, uh, not reboot, if you kill this and open it again, I was able to show you that it shows up on I2C detect. There it is at 37. Uh, this is the, whatever this model is, the GC2083. We'll chug along and sometimes it won't work again. Might get lucky this time. No, it's not working. You'll be screaming about this weird get channel frame error thing. So I'm assuming this is like it's not closed properly or I really have no idea. But yeah, uh, <laughs> it works once, you reboot, it'll work again. That's, that's it. Um, yeah.